Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Evelyn in the jungle with the strongest carry build possible and that is to literally rush Mesh first item because Mesh is the strongest AP item in the game in the same way that crit and lifesteal are the strongest AD items in the game. By abusing Mesh, we'll be getting maximum value out of our ganks. On the downside, if we don't position properly, we'll be punished heavily by losing those stacks, but I don't intend on dying ever, so we should be fine. Nice pie cook. Cool, we got a little assist. I can't really get anything out of it though. You don't really need a potion on Evelyn unless you think the enemy jungler is going to invade you. And if you think they're going to invade you, you're typically going to do buff, buff, full clear. That's generally what you do because invaders rely on killing you on a buff since you'll be uh, kind of stuck for a prolonged duration kind of just on that buff and they show up and kill you and take it. So buff, buff into full clear tends to negate that whether you're up against a Jarvan, Kindred, Graves. We're up against Maokai though, so I'm not too worried. We have Dark Harvest, Sudden, Eyeball, Relentless, Absolute Gathering, Double AP, and Armor. Should be a fun game. All in all, their comp does outscale our comp pretty hard since Pike's useless late game. But I have high hopes because I infinite scale with Dark Harvest and Gathering Storm, so. I have a lot of carry potential this game. Electrocutes has a little bit higher consistency than Dark Harvest, but for securing kills, Dark Harvest is definitely better because it comes in at the low threshold. Meanwhile, your Electrocute's gonna get procced immediately, which is gonna make it easier for your teammate to get the kill when you gank. So for this specific kind of build style, play style, with the super early mesh, super early Dark Sill, Dark Harvest plays in a lot, uh, a lot more efficiently. I'll run double point and Q to make the clear bit quicker here. It's fine to get a point in W level 3 if you feel like the enemy jungler might invade you. Because having that slow or the potential charm is extremely useful, but I'm not too worried about Maokai. So Trinomir is still topside. I was worried about where he went there. You pretty much always full clear on Evelyn. Her level 6 is so impactful that if you're not full clearing, you're guaranteed delaying your level 6, which is when she's at her best, because you're invisible, plus you get your R. Q auto E. Looks like Trindamir just got a solo kill. It's not great. We're gonna just smite that down. So we just did about a 305 full clear with Leash, not bad at all. I'm gonna try to come up behind this guy. Hopefully he doesn't spin into my turret. That'd be really bad. Get him with the charm. Nice, barely won that. That's insane. <laughs> he did a lot of damage. We need to reset. That was a really good kill though, because we get a relentless hunter stack. Very, very good for us. We can't get Mesh on our first back. It's rare that you'll be able to since it's so expensive. So typically you'll just pick up Dark Sill boots and an amp tome, and we'll shoot to get Mesh on our next back. You don't have to get an Oracles early on Evelyn. They made Oracles a long cooldown early game. They made Warding Totem a short cooldown. So most junglers don't really pick up Oracles until it's time to start taking dragons. And Evan does, Evelyn doesn't really even solo dragons. Because she loses a lot of health and it takes her a while. So Dragons are not her bread and butter. But running around with Relentless Hunter, moving 380 tier 1 boots 4 minutes in, is her bread and butter. We'll put it on Kog'Maw because he's going to be doing the damage. Auto attack EQ. And now I'm going to get another Dark Harvest stack. Oh, I got... Dang it. I kind of set that up for Ezreal to get both. Oh, well. We'll stay for some golden XP here. We want to push the wave in, force the enemies to come back, no roam, and also try to get them to miss some minions. All right, we'll go ahead and reset here. Full clear back up. Evelyn's pretty much always full clear gank, full clear gank. In this case, I had an easy gank, so instead of restarting the full clear in the gank, we could just gank and then full clear since all of our camps are spawning in in this direction anyways. Doesn't really put us behind at all to do that. And now we're chilling on three Relentless Hunter stacks as we got one off the Kog'Maw there. Now we need to get one from their jungler and their mid. It's just extra movement speed per stack on Unique Champion. So we're out of combat coming in the gank coming up behind. It makes it much easier to land the charm. In combat counts over like the last five seconds. Basically like boots of mobility to where if you technically 
been in combat, then uh, you're not going to be getting that movement speed immediately. We'll be resetting once we can afford mesh after your full clear gank recall into Dark Sill Boots. You usually get mesh on your second recall. Or at least that is what you're shooting for. We need quite a bit more gold though. Oh wow, they went for a really early drag. I'm gonna invade his top side to try to punish that. A very early dragon. That's level six for me. I'll wait for my invis and then I'll loop behind this guy. Garen kind of scaring him away a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't fully scare him away. We'll drop W, hit him with E. Nice. I get the Dark Seal stack. He, Garen let me have the kill, which I appreciate since I have uh, Dark Seal and whatnot. I'll help him push the wave real quick, get Trin to lose more minions. Even if you don't land your charm, oftentimes landing the slow is good enough. It's just in a perfect situation, you get the charm because it also shreds some magic resist on top of that. Maokai lingered bot side heavy, so we know we need to invade his top side, take his camps. I can't get bot side in a timely manner. Oh, there's someone over here. I'm gonna pop back. She pretty much blew everything there, including her flash, and she didn't get anything for it. I didn't even lose Dark Seal stack, so she's kind of screwed off that. I want the... Ooh, cool, I got an assist. Nice. Yeah, that that Catarone was kind of scary there. She almost had me. I'm surprised she actually went for that. It was just so aggressive. You don't really get anything out of Gathering Storm until 10 minute mark, and it really starts to shine at 20 minute mark. So don't expect too much out of it <laughs> early on. It literally does nothing for the first 10 minutes of the game. Kind of funny how it works. I want to take something from him while I'm here. I'll go back topside. Oops, come on, hit the plan, Evelyn. You clumsy fool. Trin's got a big wave pushing in tier one boots. He's 370 in combat. Oh, that's about how fast I am. Oh, okay, all right, cool. It's time to reset for mesh. Even my red buff is up. All my camps are up right now. I can back get a big fat mesh of rune for 1250 since we already have the dark seal. And we can get this before anyone else can get their first item since mesh complete gold cost is 1600. Most champions full item cost is anywhere from 2800 to 3400. So we can get this well before they they can get their item, thus we're on an earlier power spike, especially if we're having successful ganks. Because if we can get the 10 mesh stack by the time they finish or before they finish their first item, we're sitting in an amazing spot. Playing against junglers who don't invade you on Evelyn is too easy. It's kind of like a free win. Enemy junglers who are going to invade you, it's still very winnable for Eve, but it slows down your clear by about 12 seconds since you have to do buff, buff, full clear down or buff, buff, full clear up at that point. So the pathing over, basically moving past camps initially costs you some time. You get a W. Lulu's not six. I only got an assist there. I wish I'd gotten the kill. I need my teammates to push. I don't, this is an easy kill for my mesh. Lulu's going to, yeah, she's just going to stay. She's being greedy. She can't do this, though. I get the kill and uh, kind of wasted my R, but it's whatever. I want to reset here because I'm sitting on tier two boots. Also, my bot side jungle's kind of gone. We go for Sork Shoes because their team has multiple Squishies. If the enemy team only has one to two Squishies, you don't really go Sorks with this type of build. But uh, since they do, we go Sorks. Otherwise, on Evelyn, uh, Swifties are extremely useful for getting out of fights, staying alive, being able to disengage without bleeding your shutdown gold and losing all your stacks. Because on Evelyn, a perfect game, you should have zero deaths. Because she's such a kill-hungry champion that if you're dying even once... It's like dying four times because enemies are going to get a thousand gold from killing you. Like right now, they get over two kills worth of gold from killing me and I only have three kills. We'll go bot side, path into it here. 
want to max our E second and W last. The only max W second if their team's turbo tanky and you need the magic resist shred on it. Magic resist shred goes uh, up per level. Your range on the W cast goes up as well, so you have more mind games you can play. And uh, the charm duration also goes up, so. Yeah, this is a tough situation. I can't really help him. And the thing is, I have mesh. It's not really worth losing that mesh. So th there's not a whole lot I could have done there. There's just way too much happening. 4v2. When Maokai can dodge turret shots and swap aggro, we don't win that situation. He's on dragon right now. Kind of interesting. He's going to take it really slow by himself. And they're on it right now. Nice job from the pike there. Yeah, I'd rather stop him on drag than get a kill. Target champions only. Drop W. Into E. Q. Down he goes. Thank you, Maokai. Yeah, Maokai takes dragon very, very slow. Trin fishes for the kill. I have to run the wide route here. Try to cut him off. Hey, Cat up. Got him as well. Just flash Q. Didn't need to burn R. Lulu Cog both bought. Maokai just spawned. I have time to take this. Oh, there's nothing here. Uh, there's nothing here. My goodness. Where is everything? Just teleport out then. So typically at this stage, you just finish here. You go for Mythic second item. Normally, you want to go for Rocket Belt. The dash on it helps you secure kills in terms of getting to them in the first place to land the charm. It also gives you pe flat penetration, which is particularly strong in the early game. A bit of health as well to survive some bursts. You don't need an a, a uh, mana heavy item. Evelyn doesn't really run out of mana as a jungler because the jungle item gives you a bunch of mana back constantly whenever you're in the jungle or river areas. So. You never go to something like Ludens or a Lost Chapter on Eve. I've kind of toyed with the idea of going for... What's it called? Everfrost on Evelyn. But uh, it's just kind of slow-paced and supporty. I think it's better off on the champion like Fiddlesticks or Nunu than in Evelyn. Evelyn needs to kind of get in, get out, stay mobile. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend an Everfrost. I'd rather have the penetration from Rocket Belt. Because we're already faster than the enemies with the Mej 10% movement speed plus Relentless Hunter movement speed. To where we don't need to snare them with an Everfrost. <laughs> That's not really going to help us. They're all kind of missing right now. It's two top, one mid. Where was everyone else? Cat and no full item, no tier two boot. She's dead. Okay, well played, Decata. She loses flash. Didn't really cost us anything. Garen phase rush. That's such a smart keystone choice against Trin. Counters out the. Oh, he dies to minions. Feels bad. Is he there? Oh, he actually stayed. Charm smite, walk him down. Auto QE. Pike stole the kill, but it's fine. I'm full stack mesh. All we have to do is stay alive and we win by default. It's that easy. Show up to drag fights. If you miss the first drag or two on Evelyn, not a huge deal. As long as you're still farming. Because you can win the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth dragon if you're scaling properly. That was a good exhaust. Exhaust is such a good counter to Eve. Slows you down so the enemies can catch up and reduces your damage output. Brutal. If you refuse to use activatables, you would go for Night Harvester instead. The downside, it does give you the penetration. Plus, the Mythic Passive isn't as good as the Mythic Passive on Rocket Belt. 5 Ability Haste is not as good as 5 Magic Penetration. So the, for, after the first 40 Ability Haste, there's massive... Like drop off, huge diminished returns to where getting 
getting that coming in is just not that helpful. But yeah, if you do refuse to use activatables, you would go for Night Harvester. I would like Cosmic Driver Banshees from here. I think Cosmic, since it makes you go fast, is really nice. I'll go for Blue Ward so I can long range check Baron's Dragons and Herald. If the enemies are pushing Dragon hard early and you're behind, your team's behind, you just give it up, play for Herald. Herald gives you gold advantage anyways. Killing Herald's 300 gold, plus you can use it to break plates early on. So, Like, like I said, the first two Dragons are not super important on EVE to where if you do lose them, it's not going to change the game too much. Down he goes. Charm, Rocket Belt into him. Apply the Charm with a Q or an E. Early game, like pre-6, when you don't have much damage, you pretty much always want to apply Charm with an Auto or an E. That way you don't miss it, and that way you can land Q. Because if you land your first Q, it makes the next ones do more damage. But at this stage in the game, it's not quite as important, because we already have so much damage in total. that That's a good Pike stun. I'm in a really bad spot. I don't have R. I shouldn't even have gone in there. I'm assuming his R is on a cooldown. I don't know if it was or not, but he got chunked. Guess Azir can have it. I'll be a nice guy. I just realized I have eight assists. My goodness. I think Harold gives 100 local gold, and then it gives like 200 to the person who last hits it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Sitting at 346 AP. Key Rocket Belt. I, know I don't have the R for her. Oh, wait, did she actually get away? Dude, I've had so many R's this game. I just don't even need my R. I have too much damage output. I just legit don't need it. That was a good phase rush. Down he goes. I'm going to smite him to slow him down. Here's the Kata. I need to space this out a bit. Don't want to let her burst. She has high damage. She's really squishy right now, though. Down she goes. I get another Dark Harvest stack. And we take drag. We'll wrap this game up. This will be a 20-minute game. It's what it looks like if you don't die on Eve. Even if you're mostly assists. <laughs> Since you get to pick your engagements on her, you're invisible level 6. Her charm isn't really a skill shot, as long as you come up behind enemies and ganks. Heavy consistency. The least consistent part about her gameplay is that the enemy jungle is invading you and you're trying to fight them. She's very weak in solo fights pre-6. You cannot fight a Warwick, Elise, Sin, Zin Zhao, Elise, Rengar, Kha'Zix pre-6 in your jungle. It just does not work. That's why if you are up against something that wants to invade you, you have to do buff, buff, full clear, back. That way they can't kill you on your buff. That's what every jungler passes for. They assume you're going to full clear starting bot side. They might even ward your top side to make sure you don't start there. Or if you do, then they'll play accordingly. So, But if you go buff buff, they have no clue what you're going to do next. And they usually just piss off and don't mess with you. It's time for me to reset. I want to get cosmic. We could just go shadow flame though. Shadow Flame's insanely good when you're ahead. It's basically, the Sork Shoe, 18 Magic Pen, Shadow Flame will essentially be 20. And this item is giving us 16 total. So 16, 18. What is that? That's 34. So we have 54 Magic Penetration. Lulu has... Kogma has 40 magic resist. We're doing two damage against Kogma. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're ahead, flat magic penetration is definitely the way to go. We have more magic penetration than either Kogma or Lulu have. It's insane. True damage. Like, actually true damage. Like, my R, if they're low enough, will be doing literally its full damage output. Gotta get away from that. Kata burns her R. I burn my R. If I kill her, it doesn't change the game. If she kills me, it absolutely changes the game. She gets a thousand gold. That's more than three kills. 300 base, 700 bonus. 
more EP we get, the more HP our passive heals. I'm a little surprised it's not healing all of it at this point. I suppose that's the Mej power spike that was when it heals the whole thing, and that's game. This was pretty short, so we'll go ahead and do a part two of Eve Mej abuse rush. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of Mej rush Evelyn up against Fiddlesticks. I think it'd be best if we pap away from him. Gonna shut down our ganks to where no one's gonna get a kill. Most likely, Fiddle's gonna start on blue buff and path down. And so we're going to path blue and path up away from him. Evelyn's 2v2s aren't particularly good pre-6. They're not horrible, but it's usually not worth coin flipping in that way. You want to just make sure you're ganking a lane you know, you're pretty sure you're going to get a kill on. So that is the plan. Me and Fiddle both took dark cars. That's hilarious. We have green jungle item to deal with his fear. They have a lot of AP. They got Bran, Kali, Fiddle, and Twitch might even go AP. So Merc Treads are not out of the question we may actually get them tenacity against fiddle fear plus green jungle item against fiddle fear the fear will only last half as long could also pick up a banshees our comp as a whole is a lot strong we have a huge back line with soul and uh vein twitch can't really twitch brand can't really match that i don't think not gonna smite it because it's almost dead E auto could reach it with my E before I could reach it with my auto. E has more range, so I just led him with E into auto attack. Could have definitely used our smite there. Oh well. Kali is kind of pushing up on soul early. It's to be expected. I waited for empowered E to come up by passive kicking in. Empowered E does more damage. It also has AoE damage as well. Haven't used smite yet. I should have used it on the ground realistically. We'll use E on the crossover to get that speed up. Q on the big wrap. Powered E into the center. Auto Q move. And kite it back up here. I need to use my smite. We don't want to be sitting on dual smite charges. That'd be really bad. That would be turbo poop. We're going to queue the big one because we want to get that additional damage here. Finish off red buff with an auto. When you first start your queue, it puts it on cooldown. So it's actually really effective to uh, just kind of get it out of the way like that. We still have smite charge and we finished essentially 306 because we're walking away and not having to turn back around. So that's basically a 306 full clear. Still have a smite charge. That was pretty efficient. We're going to come up behind set. Drop W. We get the kill on him. Sante doesn't have triumph, so I wouldn't have saved him even if I killed him any earlier. Fiddle did a 5 camp in a gank. That's a really bad idea. Should have just full cleared in the gank. He's going to miss Scuttle now as well. Yeah, Scuttle's gone, dude. He's going to see it's gone. He's going to leave. Yep, he didn't even see me because he just saw like up to here and now I just back. Oh, I probably should have finished pushing that. That's my bad. All right, first item, boots, dark sill, and I guess I'll pick up Antome. I would have loved to get Mesh, but can't really afford it. Mesh is expensive to buy it on first back. Kali picks up a kill. I'll go grab this wave. Never mind. Soul has TP. If he didn't have TP, I'd go grab the wave mid and possibly get a dark harvest stack off of a Kali as well. Their bot lane fudged up, took double ignite. They lose by default. I gank, they die. I'll flash the brand stun, land my charm on. I guess brand. He has less HP than Twitch. It's a little surprising. Support item even gives 10 HP. Don't know why Twitch's base HP is that high. Never mind. Brand's dead. Twitch messed up. Auto QE. I have red buff autos for the FID. I'm gonna smite the minion. Try to get Vayne a level up. Or myself a level up. QE. Down he goes. Very nice. He hadn't spent his gold yet, and I had uh, Dark Seal plus Amp Tome, so. Not a whole lot he could do there. They needed to push faster. Her wave's screwed now. Took forever. Her wave didn't fully crash. Feels bad for her. I think Fid's wraps are up. But you always, always, always do a full clear on Fid and Eve. 
even if you have to do buff buff full clear down because they're scared of the enemy jungler you always end up full clearing first route now he's gonna lose these wraps oh maybe not hmm i think he just canceled his drain i have the scuttle speed up we're chilling Leona went in kind of 1v2, 1v3. I don't think she realized the type of situation she put herself in there. She's going to get us all killed. I was already out. I had <laughs> the whole time I had a like a strong escape. Oh, I got to leave now. I'm at the flash. I have to flash. Leona unintentionally just wrecked our team a bit there. Oh, well. It is what it is. Fiddle's only level 4 at least. Let's wait for our E to come back up. Path back over. Kali's level 6. My goodness. Hate to see that, man. Level 6 of Kali. So much kill potential. We'll pull her on out. Give me that E, baby. My level 6 is a bit delayed. I kind of needed that Grom. That would have been my 6 here. Off Krugs. But I don't think Krugs give me 6. I do not believe they do here. I can swing back down for my blue. I'll be pathing over a lot of dead space, so I'd rather not. Re instead, we can just take a fiddle camp. He's most likely kind of bot side on his red buff spawn or something. A word there, I don't want. Ooh, a call is here. Just leave it. We can't fight it. <laughs> no, don't fight it. She's six. There's no way for us to fight that. The charm pushes her away. If she engages, I charm run away. She'll waste R and not be able to get the kill. And now we pick up dun, 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 the mesh with control word. Easy peasy. My blue should still be up unless Fiddle invaded me when he saw I was topside. Fiddle moves around pretty slow, though. It's somewhat ineffective. Brand missing makes me a little nervous. He might be in my jungle. I'll ward it over the wall here. A little bit scary. Okay, cool. He's not here. Imagine that. If you're gonna charm your monster, you do it from super far ahead of time when you can't reach it, or once you put your Q and E on full cooldown. You wanna maximize how much damage you're outputting. I hit a late level six. Nearly eight minute mark. It's super late. I think a call is rotating. Yeah, as a fiddle effigy, I figured fiddle effigies can see you. They're like the control word, kind of. I want to gank bot here, get my mesh going. Yeah, I'll just go bot. <sighs> I think Twitch, I don't think he stayed. I think Brand just baited himself. We'll stay for drag. Flame drag is really big for Eve. Actually, I'm not going to do drag. It's too risky with the call it. Said I'll stay for for the rat. It comes back to lane. He should be here before the brand. He's not. What a joke. What a joke. Yeah, add that ward so I could see. Man, that sucks. I don't know what took Twitch so long. He must have been waiting on an item or something in base. That's unfortunate. I was expecting them to be staggered out, but they really weren't. Wait, they actually got a kill? <laughs> what? Fiddle's top. We might actually be able to do dragon here. Flame drag's worth. We have two Robidon champs and a crit champ. It's kind of hard for us to take with only <laughs> a mesh right now and an amp tome. Luckily, it's not wind drag. I feel like wind drag does the most damage for whatever reason. We're going to go and smite her out. Wait for my R. Without R, we don't want to push out and do anything too freaky. 
Don't want to lose the mesh. Down goes Twitch. I think we'll have an opportunity here to kill the brand. While Twitch is dead. Yeah, we'll do that. Whenever bot lane's staggered, it's really easy to pick up a kill. Yeah, he missed. Nice try, buddy. I wasn't going to commit into getting closer. It'll make it easier for him to land a stun. I needed to stay alive at all costs. And uh, delay the result so my teammates can catch up to the situation. That is what we have to do. When my R's on a cooldown. Let's fiddle in my jungle. Yeah, he is. My ward's still being swept, so I couldn't really see where a call I was there. Yeah, Phil's taking my camp. He's trying to punish me, if I guess, for ganking. All he got was my raptors, though. Hmm. I think I call these in my jungle. It's not worth dying for. I'd rather give up red and live. It's, it's hilarious to be invaded by a fiddle, though, because fiddle invades are so bad. It's super slow pace. He doesn't have much kill potential. It's um, you just, we basically just walk away essentially. Oh, why didn't Cassante do something? Huh? We're gonna whip him with R. Down you go, buddy. <laughs> he tried to force that so hard. Fid wants to give me some mesh. I know it. I'm gonna hold on to E. Ooh, come on, Fiddle, you scumbag. He made me miss the kill. He's willing to use his Zanyas, put it on cooldown, his stopwatch, just so I don't get the mesh. Because he knew he couldn't escape from there. What a little turd bag. Hmm, let's go for Rocket Belt. It is. Let's pick up a controller while we're at it. Call is really low. I'll go mid real quick. She might actually stay if she's a fool. Since Soul's still dead for a while. That flash. And we bot scrapping out hard. Bane finds the kill. Twitch is low. Akali must have based. I'll kill Twitch. Brand's dead. Twitch is missing some health. I swear, man. These effigies are everywhere. Fit, fit, Twitch isn't going to stay now. Because Twitch just saw where I was. He already knows I'm hovering bot side. You're dead. Down you go. Run away from the call. Run upper left here. Get away from her bot side support. I should just push that way, but Soul's here. I don't want to steal it out of his mouth. He'll get pissed. We go top. Set is Gore Drinker. I think I can make it work. Push this away from where Set's at. He seems to know where I am for whatever reason. Or at least fake pathing towards it. I think I can take this in time before Fiddle gets back with how I have it pulled out. Yeah, easy. We'll go top. Xante has double armor. It's good. It can set. Get down the charm here. Hey, friend. Down you go. Easy peasy. Give me them mesh stacks. Oh, no. It's not worth dying. Give me the Dark Harvest, baby. Oh, they're both dead now. <laughs> oh, they're going to give me some juicy mesh. <laughs> they really wanted that, man. They were begging for it. I will get 300 gold off Herald real quick. It's after the 14 minute mark, so it's not quite as high value because we're not going to be able to get plates. It's still worth since we're looking to reset right now anyways. I wish he wouldn't be here. Now he's going to get 100 of the local gold instead of me getting the full 300. I'll wait for him to leave. Alright, got Rocket Belt. Push out for Drax spawning in. Their bot lane is like right here. They're coming back. Looking at mid, Akali is low, so we should go mid right now. 
If she stays, we kill. If she doesn't stay, I can still path down bot. Let's get Rocket Belt controller in the right slots here. Not really sure where the fiddle's at. It shouldn't matter too much. Oh, Twitch is here. We got the uh, Kali, but I died. Sucks. I wasn't expecting Twitch to roam mid his AD carry there. I guess it makes sense since he didn't have turret. I should have expected that as a high likelihood. Took 800 damage from Insane from 100 from Kali. 238 from turret. My goodness. I'm tempted to go for... Uh... Actually, I will max W here. I don't see any Merc treads. I'll get really good value out of W max or increased charm duration against their team. No Merc treads. Double Sork. Berserk. Dang. Just missed out on drag. <laughs> I need to finish my green jungle item. I can just clear real quick. Finish that off. Only need four camps since I have a treat. I'm about to get another treat here. I think it's 22 second mark. Something like that. Uh, I guess it's 30 second mark of the each minute past the first like two or three minutes, I think. Treats give you extra gold and they also help you finish your item faster. All right, cool, we got a green jungle item. I'm gonna smite him down. There you go, my friend. Kali can't fight me, not with a rift maker. Hmm. She doesn't win that. She knows that. She probably has her shroud. Red buff is kind of annoying. Got her with a single Q. It's not really enough to do anything. They're all going to be pathing into me. Like, wherever they see I am, they're all going to be coming this way. So I can just expect them to be flowing in like a stream of ants. Notice how I didn't bother to try to gank a Kali. Ganking a Kali is a complete waste of time. She has two dashes pre sick. She has a smoke train, which is invisibility plus a speed up. She's also a small hitbox, and I think her base movement speed is decent. So it's a complete waste of time. That's why I focused on the enemy bot, which are both mobile plus set. I want to get the easiest, cheapest kills. It's all about mesh consumption, mesh production. Here's a Q rocket belt. Down he goes. Oh, I should have followed that in a bit more. Didn't realize Soul was going to do that much damage. I'm going to whip him with the R. I don't feel like dying. Whenever you kill any jungle monster, even a tiny one, it completely refreshes your green jungle item shield, which is kind of nice in a fight. Like if you kill a raptor while you're fighting somebody, you get that shield back and it throws them off. Oh, I don't even need that. I don't mind slow getting those. I should lay my mesh here. Absolutely, I should. I'm going to take this mid turret. This gives so much uh, map pressure. So much information. Well, she just got chunked. I think she burned her R as well when she was setting up that play. Fiddle's in his topside jungle. I assume Set's low on health. No, he's not that low. Never mind. I think we can do it, though. I mean, I'm a full stack mesh. All he has is Gore Drink plus that. I'm gonna smile some down, land the Q, auto attack E reset. And down he goes. Rest in pepperoni set. My R's come. Ooh, Fiddle, what are you doing? Don't you know that's illegal? I'm out of there, dude. <laughs> I don't know why they think they can fight me all of a sudden. He's gonna put Drain on cooldown. Macaulay's mid, he's dead. You get the charm, and we're chilling. He tried to flash and find it. I'm way out of there, dude. Fiddle Drain does execute damage. At, once his two second channel ends, it does a bunch of damage based on how low on health you are. It's a big execute. 
Oh, she's looking for me. That's hilarious. <laughs> she's actually looking for me. I have green jungle item too. Oh man, I, I should reset really. Pick up a Ravadon once I get 400 more gold. As is, we're, we're rocking around with 3.2k right now. Rocket Belt, QE. Could not finish the kill. I did get Dark Harvest stack at least. It's done more damage than Soul's Key Stone, which is a little surprising. A green jungle item so good against Fiddle. It actually makes the Eve Fiddle matchup somewhat palpable. Not palpable, but somewhat like digestible. Because normally like Fid's just a super super hard counter to Evelyn. But with Green Jungle item, it, it's constantly shaving away his fear. Because Fiddle always opens up combo with fear. Always. That's his only option. And Green Jungle item gives you tenacity as long as the shield is up. So it, it turns out perfectly against a champ like Fid. Smite that down. Thanks, Brand. You want to come with me, Akali? Nope. Oh, well, I guess. I don't think she realizes I still have R. I literally still have R. <laughs> she, just, she has no chance in killing me there. I'm running around 343 AP. Ooh, Fiddle's right here. And rocket belt into him, down he goes. I'll be finishing these off. Nice. I, I sh really should have reset. I'm just so much stronger than they are. I don't really have to. But I should. <coughs> oh my goodness. Twitch is going to try to stop my recall. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, you little rat. Oh, you're so clever. Such a clever rat. You saw me on ward. He's going to step up, throw a cask. He had to flash away there. All right, let me reset. Dang, I got to blow my nose. These guys got to relax. <laughs> Y'all want a piece? They think they're going to get shut down. Oh, I'm not going to give it to them, though. I'll even push for a uh, Banshees as well to get a bit of magic resist. It's going to help out versus their uh, triple Sork Shoe build a lot. Because having more magic resist than they have penetration is pivotal for that type of thing. Plus, it's going to heavily mitigate Kali's chances of ever bursting me or Bran to even be able to stun me. She should just take it. I'm getting a low for her on my crossover. Let me get the speed up on our E. It builds good will with your teammates. They're more likely to let you have your Pento or your Quadra kill or whatever. If they're not, <laughs> if they feel like you're looking out for them. <laughs> All right. Rocket belt ready. Flash ready. R almost up. Got to do your checklist like a pilot. Flying a plane before we go in here. Okay, everything's ready. Oof, call it. Q rocket belt. Down she goes. <laughs> she got destroyed. She's actually doing pretty good considering how hard her team's losing. She was five and two there before I killed her. Now she's five and three. Is there somebody over here? No, there's two top, one mid. Where's the other guy? Is he in the bush? No, I don't know where this guy's at. Confused. Where did he go? Fiddle's level 12. He has a bit of health. No matter who this. Dude, I can see you. He's very, very lucky his silence landed there. That silence didn't hit. He was dead. He's had flash. I could just pop over. Oh, goodbye. Oh, I'm silenced. Ooh, there it is. I'm going to rocket belt it out of that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't know where. Okay, Twitch is mid. I'm chilling. Oh, 
Oh my. Yeah, this game's wrapped. Once you have 10 stack plus meds, we're moving around 457 out of combat. In combat, we're at 417. Still really fast. Most, champ, most champs tier 2 boots are like 380, 385. We're just way faster than everyone else. Measure OP, dude. It's the only thing that lets AP champs hang with AD champs who gets to abuse crit and life still. Since magic damage champs don't have access to anything similar to crit or life still, really. The only real option is Omni Vamp, and there's only like one mage item that has it. Rift Maker that most mages can't go for efficiently. Okay, it's time to fly trap. Down you go, buddy. Oh, come on, Brand, don't do that to me. I'm gonna whip it out. Can't kill both of them is the thing. Ooh, got it. QE smite. Down he goes. Twitch is the only one alive now. Wow, these guys are really in it to win it. They do not want to give up. I'm faster than you. You can't run. <laughs> you cannot run, Twitch. Come on now. Kali's fishing for it. She is two full item. She might be able to kill me. Diddle's going to pop over this wall. Got him. He needed to turn around and fear me. If he didn't fear me, he dies because my rocket belt speed up. Rocket belt makes you move faster after using it when moving towards enemy champions. So he absolutely had to fear me there. It was his only way. He just thought he could rocket belt away since I rocket belt towards him. But that's not how it works. Offensive rocket belt is more viable than a defensive rocket belt due to the bonus movement speed. Alrighty. That was a good little vision plant popped on a call. We maintained vision on her the whole time through our teammates hitting that. Hey, Bran. <laughs> Bran's like, no, don't do it. I need some space here. Not sure where Twitch went. And we're back. Charm onto the set. I have to watch my spacing here a little bit. So him rocket belting me there is tough since he's using it offensively. He gets the extra movement speed. Luckily, I'm just so much faster than him. I'm just smite him down into Q. Oof, he panicked there a little bit. Oof, got him with the juke. All right, we'll take it. Kind of need to spend my gold, huh? Woodstaff might do some wonders for us here. Give me that charm, baby! <laughs> oh no, she art away. I couldn't even get it. That sucks. I'll rock a belt into that. Try to save the Cassante. These guys are, they have the fighting spirit. They're like Rocky, no matter how many times they get hit in the head, they get back up again. Their respawns are short because their levels aren't too high yet. It's a big part of it. Get him, Soul! Yes! Balance, balance. Soul is a very balanced champion. He's like a ranged Malphite. <laughs> the skill floor is so low. There's not much counterplay either. Like, regardless of what Soul's doing, it feels like no matter what you do, you can't really punish him too hard. I need to hit him to get the mana back from the full charm proc. That is GG's though, guys. Mesh Rush Evelyn, by far, is the biggest carry potential Eve you can go for. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most in the game at 60,000. Not bad for damage taken. We were middle of the pack, self-mitigated, middle of the pack, and for runes, high value. All in all, Mezrush Evelyn is the best possible way to carry on her. Yes, there is a lot of risk involved. Once you adapt your playstyle to be an absolute leech and stay alive, though, you'll find it's the most rewarding way to play her and my personal favorite way to play her as well.
If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.